Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's learn about equivalent ratios. All right, so what do you understand by equivalent? Well, the term equivalent means equal. Okay, so ratios that are equal are called equivalent ratios. Now, what are equal ratios? Well, here's an example of equal ratios or equivalent ratios. 8 to 4, okay, this is one ratio. This is equivalent to 4 to 2. This ratio, 4 to 2. And it's also equivalent to 2 to 1. So 8 to 4, 4 to 2, and 2 to 1. These are all equivalent to each other. But how do you know these are equal to each other? Well, let's prove that, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this ratio, 8 to 4, and we're going to prove that it's equal to 4 to 2 and also to 2 to 1, all right? So let's take uh, 8 of a certain thing and 4 of a certain thing, okay? So say, for example, we have, uh, what do we take? Well, let's see, we take maybe coins, okay? So let's take, say, 20 cent coins and 8 of these, all right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make copies of this. So I have 2 now, 2 20 cent coins. What I want is 8 of them. So I make a few more copies. And now I have... 8 20 cent coins. All right, let me move them a little to the left. Okay, so I have 8 of one thing. How about I take 4 of some other thing? Let's say for $1 coins. Okay, so we have $1 coins, slightly bigger. Okay, now we have 2, now we have 3, and we have 4. Okay, so we have 8 20 cent coins and we have 4 1 dollar coins. So the ratio of 20 cent coins to 1 dollar coins is obviously 8 to 4. Okay, so here's the ratio 8 to 4. Okay, the ratio of 20 cent coins to 1 dollar coins is 8 to 4. All right, now how do you prove that this ratio 8 to 4 is equivalent or equal to 4 to 2? Well, let's do something. Let's stack two coins together, okay? So we make stacks of two coins each. So we take two coins and we make a stack. And we see how many stacks are there, okay? So I'm going to take these two and I'm going to make a stack, okay? This 20 cent coin that I put here and, and another one, say below it, okay? So these are two coins stacked into one, okay? Stacked into one stack. Then if I take these two coins then I'll get another stack of two coins then if I take these two coins then I'll get one more stack of two coins then if I take these two coins then I'll get one more stack okay so now what I have is these eight coins they're stacked in two stacks of two coins each and what I get is I get four stacks okay so I have four stacks here how about here well on this side I take this one dollar coin okay and I copy and paste it here and I take the second one okay and make a stack okay so now I have a stack of two one dollar coins from these two coins okay similarly from these two coins I'll have another stack something that's similar to this so I'll just make another copy all right, now what I have is I still have eight 20 cent coins and I still have four one dollar coins, but they are arranged in a different way, okay? They are arranged in stacks of two coins each. So now what we have is we have four stacks on this side and two stacks on this side, okay? Now if we take each stack as one unit, then how many units do we have on this side and how many do we have on this side? Well, on the 20 cent side, we have four stacks or four units and on the one dollar side we have two stacks or two units okay so now what is the new ratio then well the new ratio is four units to two units so it's four to two well earlier we had eight to four but now the same number of coins has given us a new ratio which is four to two so there you go you still have the same number of coins you have eight 20 cent coins and you have four one dollar coins and you're still comparing eight coins with four coins but you have two different ratios. Well, if you're still comparing the same two things which haven't changed in number, then these two ratios must be equal, right? So there you go. The ratio 8 to 4 is equal to the ratio 4 to 2. So we've just proved that 8 to 4 is equivalent to 4 to 2. How about 2 to 1? Well, let's uh, prove that. So now we'll stack these four coins 
and these four coins okay so what we'll do is we'll make stacks of four coins okay now we have one stack of four coins from here okay so this is your 20 cent coin and there are three coins below it okay so these are four coins four 20 cent coins or one stack of four coins similarly you get one stack of four 20 cent coins from here as well okay so this is one two three and four so now what you have is you have two stacks of four 20 cent coins so now in the same way you stack these four coins okay these four one dollar coins into one stack okay now what you see is each of these stacks has got four coins and if you take one stack as one unit one stack of four coins is one unit then what is the ratio that you have well the ratio that you have now is you have one unit and two units here on the 20 cent side and you have one unit here on the one dollar side so the new ratio is two to one well you notice that the number of coins hasn't changed the number of coins on the 20 cent side is still eight and the number of coins on the one dollar side is still four but you have a new ratio the new ratio which is two to one well, if the number of coins hasn't changed, then the ratio 2 to 1 must be equal to or equivalent to 4 to 2 as well as 8 to 4. So there you go. The ratio 8 to 4 is equal to the ratio 4 to 2, which is equal to the ratio 2 to 1. Okay, now let's look at it in a slightly different way, okay? So what we had was we had 8 20 cent coins. So I'm going to quickly make 8 20 cent coins one more time. So we have one, two, three, four, and four more. So we have eight 20 cent coins, and also what we had was we had four one dollar coins. Okay, so this is my one one dollar coin, and here's my four one dollar coins. All right, so what I have is I have eight 20 cent coins to four one dollar coins. Okay. Now, one way to arrange these coins is to put them in one row, okay? So, we have one row of 20 cent coins and we have one row of $1 coins. And that gives us the ratio 8 to 4, which means that for every 8 20 cent coins, there are 4 $1 coins. Now, how about we take all these 20 cent coins and these $1 coins and what we do is we rearrange them in a slightly different way, okay? Now, one way of arranging them is to make two rows, okay, two equal rows that have got equal number of 20 cent coins and equal number of $1 coins. So, I make two rows which have each got four 20 cent coins. Now, how about the $1 coins? Well, the $1 coins would be two per row, right? So, two here and two here. Now, how many 20 cent coins do I have? Well, I still have eight 20 cent coins. And how many $1 coins do I have? Well, I still have four $1 coins. So this is another way of arranging these coins. And another way of comparing the number of 20 cent coins and $1 coins. So here what you see is that for every four 20 cent coins, you have two $1 coins. So there you go. The number of 20 cent coins and the number of $1 coins is still the same which is eight 20 cent coins and four $1 coins, but we have arranged them in a different way. And that different way has given us a new ratio, which is four to two. And this four to two tells us that for every four 20 cent coins, there are two $1 coins, okay? And since the number of coins hasn't changed, the ratios eight to four and four to two must be equal. Now, can you think of another way of rearranging these coins? Well, let's see, if we make four rows now instead of two rows, then we have two 20 cent coins per row. So we have four rows now and each row has got two 20 cent coins. How about the $1 coins? Well, since there are four $1 coins and there are four rows, then obviously one row must have a single $1 coin. So now you have one, two, three, and four which means one $1 coin per row. So this arrangement gives us the ratio two to one, which is another way of looking at this whole bunch of eight 20 cent coins and four $1 coins. And this new way of looking at the whole bunch of coins gives us the ratio two to one, which tells us that for every two 20 cent coins, there is one $1 coin. And just as before, since the number of 20 cent coins and $1 coins hasn't changed, the ratio 
2 to 1 must be equivalent to 4 to 2 as well as 8 to 4. So there you go. When you had 8 20 cent coins and 4 1 dollar coins and you divided them into two rows, then what you got was you got rows of 4 20 cent coins and 2 1 dollar coins. And similarly, when you had 8 20 cent coins and 4 1 dollar coins and you divided them into four rows, then what you got was you got two 20 cent coins for every one dollar coin. So there you go. When you have eight 20 cent coins and four one dollar coins, then you can look at it and say that for every eight 20 cent coins, there are four one dollar coins. Or you can look at them in a slightly different way and say that for every four 20 cent coins, there are two one dollar coins. Or you can look at them at yet another way and say that for every two 20 cent coins, there is one one dollar coin. And that gives us that the ratio eight to four is equal or equivalent to the ratio four to two and also equal or equivalent to the ratio two to one. Well, all you did when going from eight to four to four to two was divide both the terms of the ratio by two. Right? You divided 8 by 2 and you divided 4 by 2 to get the ratio 4 to 2. And when you went from 8 to 4 to 2 to 1, what you did was you divided both the sides of the ratio, both the terms by 4 to get the new ratio 2 to 1. Well, in a similar way, you could also multiply both the terms and get uh, an equivalent ratio. So if you have the ratio 8 to 4 and you want to get an equivalent ratio by multiplying, let's say multiply by 2, or three or four or whatever, then in uh, this case, if you multiply by two, what you get is eight times two is 16, and four times two is eight. So again, this ratio 16 to eight is also equivalent to the ratio eight to four. So another equivalent ratio of eight to four is 16 to eight. Well, the trick is to multiply or to divide both the terms or all the terms of the ratio by the same number to get its equivalent ratio. Well, that's all it's going to be for now. We'll learn more about equivalent ratios and we'll see where they are used when we do, uh, when we simplify ratios and also when we solve word problems. But for now, that's all it's going to be for this lesson. I hope you'll now go and solve some problems at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.